Howdy folks and welcome back to Helliborn with the Mighty Jingles. I am utterly addicted to this game by the way. It's only been out a week, if that, and I've already got 39 hours of flying time logged on record. What we're going to be showing you today is a bit of PvP. And this is my American, well, Western, second generation PvP squadron setup. In Heliborn, you organise your helicopters into squadrons based on the generation of the aircraft. Generations go from one, which is like 1950s vintage helos, all the way up to modern day helos at generation four. So this is my second generation setup. And it consists of three aircraft, which I have loaded specifically for player versus player combat. First of all, we have the venerable Huey Delta. I've set it up with a pair of outboard mounted 50 caliber machine gun pods, as well as a pair of 70 millimeter Hydra rocket pods. It's carrying 10 troops, they're just infantry, so I'm going to be using the Huey Delta for capturing landing zones. Defenses, door gunner on each side, each with twin M60 machine guns, and in case you're wondering, the skin is a camo that I've unlocked. It's obviously a West German Huey Delta in Luftwaffe colours. This configuration has cost 73 of the 250 points that are available for setting up a second generation helicopter squadron. Next up, the Westland Scout. This is a British Army version of the Royal Navy's Westland Wasp. I've set this thing up with a pair of FN Mag 7.62mm machine guns, the good old British Army General Purpose machine gun, or Jimpy as well as 70mm Hydra rocket pods, although it doesn't carry a lot of them. The Scout can also carry a very limited number of troops, but instead of infantry, I've elected to load troops equipped with Stinger surface-to-air missile launchers, or man pads, man-portable air defence systems. I don't have enough points to equip this thing with flare launchers, that'll take me over the 250 point limit. And the third aircraft in my Generation 2 Western PvP lineup is the OH-6, the Vietnam-era Loach observation and scout aircraft. It's armed with one 7.62mm minigun, as well as the usual selection of Hydra 70mm rockets, and one guy sitting in the back with a surface-to-air missile launcher. This is costing me 85 of the 250 points available for a second-generation squadron, but I was able to squeeze in the old flare launcher to shake off any heat seekers that get fired at me. So, that's the squadron. Let's see what it can do. Look out, he's coming right at us. That is also a lot of ground fire. That's an enemy KA-26 light utility helicopter. My M60 door gunners are opening up on the anti-aircraft guns at that enemy firebase, but I need to get some serious amount of ground between me and them because I'm just not going to be able to fly for long in the face of that amount of firepower. So we're going nap of the earth. There's a friendly... AH-1 Cobra coming in. Crap, there's somebody on my tail. Okay, the Cobra's taken him. It's an MI-8. Okay, with his attention distracted by the Cobra, let's get these 50 cals fired. Oh, he's taking the Cobra out. Come on. Come on. He's firing rockets at me. Luckily, rockets are not very accurate. And we've got him. <laughs> yeah, uh, Heliborn, PvP. It can actually get quite intense. Right, what's going on? Well, there's a friendly firebase up ahead. Firebase 11. And that's at full capacity with troops. There's another friendly up ahead. Oh, he's in a Johnny Green Giant. That thing can carry up to 34 troops, but it's very, very easy to shoot down. And he's attempting to land and capture that firebase. I'm going to have to go ahead and suppress the firebase defences for him. There we go. They've all been knocked out. He can now put that thing down and capture that landing zone. Oh, we're back where that KA-26 crashed. Oh, hang on a second. Look out! He's coming right at us! <laughs> oh, he's not. He's going right at the friendly OH-6. And that's a hind. That's the world famous MI-24 and I'm taking ground fire again, screw this. My hydraulics are damaged. Try and get some shot. No, I'm not going to be able to get the nose up. <laughs> I don't want to make myself an easy target for him, so run away. Yep, he's hot on my tail. The thing about the hind is you're never going to outrun it. It's big 
and it's heavy and it's very fast in a straight line, but it's not particularly manoeuvrable. And the Huey actually is. There he goes. And he's been taken out by the air defences at the firebase. Now the firebase has lost all of the troops. So he did at least manage to strip the defences. Although our armoured convoy from Firebase 11 has made it up here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the infantry in the cab down on the ground to occupy the anti-aircraft guns. And this firebase is now at 100% capacity and there's a fresh enemy coming in. Nope, lost sight of him. So what is actually going on here? Essentially, PvP in Heliborn is exactly the same as co-op battle. The maps are exactly the same, except with the added complication of enemy players flying their own helicopters, doing their level best to shoot you down and prevent you from occupying those firebases and covering the armoured columns that are generated by your own fully occupied firebases, which then move up the road network to the next firebase and take it from the enemy. You can always help them out, of course. In fact, it's very, very difficult for an unescorted armoured column to seize control of a fully defended firebase, and that's where you come in using your helicopters to knock out the firebase defences, to occupy those firebases with troops carried in the back of air assault helicopters, and to shoot down and suppress enemy players like this guy who's coming right at us. <laughs> Whoa, narrowly avoided a collision. Yes, you do get mid-air collisions in this game. And there's not just a fully occupied firebase down there, but there's also an armoured convoy. So... The smart thing for... Ooh, buggeration. No, screw this. He's got friends Warning. coming in. I sustained critical damage, but I did shoot him down, and... Yeah. Far too much ground fire coming in, as well as a second enemy helicopter. So, here we go. My Huey Delta is now on a repair timer, so I have to pick another helicopter for three available in the squadron. So, we're jumping into the Westland Scout. This recording actually began a few minutes after the start of the game, and what happened at the beginning of the match was that I took the Westland Scout out and used it to deploy a surface-to-air missile team. So now the second time, after it's been repaired, because I suffered a jingles landing, <laughs> uh, there are now three infantry in the back, which I can use to capture landing zones. And just up ahead on the ridge line, there's my guy. That's the soldier with a stinger, man-portable air defense system. So he's just sitting there waiting for enemy helicopters to come flying over. And he's going to be firing He's seeking missiles out of them. I'm never going to take out a tank with 7.62mm machine guns. So we switch to the Hydras. And that's the remnants of an enemy armoured column that did manage to make it through with one surviving tank and has captured Firebase 7. But we've now knocked out the tank. And... Well, I've got three troops in the back. It's not going to be enough to fully occupy a Firebase, but I can at least capture it. Nope, too slow jingles. Another member of the team's managed to get in there with an air assault helicopter and has resupplied and captured the firebase himself. So, what now? Enemy firebase ahead. There's another MI-24 coming in. Oh crap, another enemy firebase. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm in serious trouble here. Doesn't matter which way I go. Two enemy helicopters, and that's an MI-24. Rating him with the 7.62 millimeters, and he's turning, trying to see who it is who's shooting at him. And I'm just going to get the hell out of here. Friendly firebase up ahead. If he tries to chase me, he's going to have to deal with the anti-aircraft guns, and he's not trying to chase me. So by some miracle, I actually got away with that. I do actually have a bit of a brain fart here. In all the excitement, I've forgotten that I have three infantry in the back and not a stinger team. So I'm thinking. Haha, -ha, I will set an ambush for that MI-24 if he comes after me. I'll set up a surface-to-air missile team in this rice paddy. You don't have a surface-to-air missile team in the back of the Hilo jingles. And here comes the MI-24, and I actually managed to shoot him down with 7.62mm machine guns. Well, I got credited with the kill, but I think the majority of the damage was done by the 23mm AA guns in Firebase number 5 back there. Technically, you should not be able to even scratch the paintwork on an MI-24 with anything less than a 23mm gun. For game balance reasons, however, you don't have to actually be packing 23mm auto cannons to damage them. And there's an enemy armoured column coming in from the direction of Firebase 8, but I've stopped it dead in its tracks with the very, very limited supply 
of Hydra rockets on the Westland Scout. And the cavalry is arriving. Firebase 7 is about to be reinforced by one of our own armoured columns. And we're going to get these infantry unloaded and have them occupy the anti-aircraft defences. Along with the M42 dusters from the armoured column that just drove up the road and arrived at the firebase. So, firebase 7 should be able to take care of itself for the foreseeable future. So, what now? Not seeing any enemy helicopters on the map. Oh, there's one. There's no Crap! It's an MI-8. I know exactly what he's done. He's just dropped off the surface-to-air missile team on that mountaintop. And that means I'm going to die. Yep, missile incoming, and... yeah. <laughs> Shit. Oh well. Doesn't really matter, because you have infinite respawns. All you have to do is wait out a repair timer. So we're going to jump back in at the Huey Delta. And let's see what we can do with twin 50 caliber machine guns and 38 70 mm Hydro rockets. What's the state of our fire bases? Ten troops in the back. Firebase 11 is at 100%. Um, Firebase 9 could use reinforcing, but enemy helos have just popped up on the map. Over in the direction of Firebase 5, so... Let's go and get some kills. There's a friendly Huey Delta over there, who looks like he could probably use some assistance. He's outnumbered 2 to 1. Come on. Come on, there we go. Scoring hits. Come on. And he's down. Wasn't me who got the kill, but doesn't matter. More importantly, unoccupied firebase up ahead, number five. And I happen to have ten troops sitting in the back of the cab, so we're going to put this thing. Oh shit. That's an enemy armoured column. And they're about to capture firebase five. Not if we have anything to say about it. Right. Oh, crap. Taking hits. Come on. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. I need to get this thing airborne so I can use the weapons. And Hydra selected. And, well, I can't really miss. <laughs> There's a rocket attack going in overhead from a friendly Cobra gunship. Uh, and this is just shooting fish in a barrel. And we've stopped that armoured column dead in its tracks. Now, that was some good timing. <laughs> Didn't take a lot of damage. I'm almost out of rockets, but all of my systems are still fully operational, and I still have two troops sitting in the back, so... Firebase 9 looks like it could use reinforcing. I'm going to go ahead and drop the two grunts off at Firebase number 9. They're going to occupy the anti-aircraft positions and help defend the base from enemy attack. Come on, nice and slow, easy does it. You can actually put these things down quite hard, but you may take some damage doing it. Okay, Firebase 9 back up to 100%, Firebase 8, hmm, down to 25%. The troops may have actually been better off being dropped at Firebase 8. We've got a Cobra gunship over there. And there was an enemy helo spotted on the map in the direction of Firebase 5. And looking at the map now, Firebase 5 has just changed colour. So, I went through all that effort of securing and defending Firebase 5, and they've gone and taken it back off us. Now, we've got a Cobra gunship heading over there to sort him out, so I'm going to do an overfly of Firebase 6 and see if I can cause them some... Pro oh, crap, missiles are coming. Shit! <laughs> they've reinforced it with man pads. No! More of them incoming. Door gunners. Come on. I'm going to have to do some serious nap of the earth flying here. <laughs> because I didn't have enough points when I was setting this squadron up to equip the Huey Delta with flares. But, okay, my hydraulics are damaged. But I'm alive. <laughs> Damn, that was close. And we've got another Huey Delta coming in. Who has managed to recapture firebase number five. Right. Actually, you know, the thoughts just occurred to me. Man pads. Man portable air defense system. It's quite an unfortunate acronym, really, isn't it? <laughs> Man pads. The male tampon for you. <laughs> Is it just me? Surely it's not just me. Right, anyway. Uh, we're out of troops. We're out of rockets. We've taken a bit of a battering. I'm going to RTB with the Huey Delta. Get this thing repaired and possibly pick another helicopter. 
All I have to do is land this thing without damaging it any further. Oh, jingles. <laughs> oh, nearly. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. Jingles landing denied. Right, the loach or the scout? We're going to take the scout. Right, we've got a friendly Huey Delta up ahead who's been pursued by a KA-26. Now I can take out a KA-26. What's he doing out there? Missile incoming, crap, he's... Oh, shit. And I'm hit because I don't have flares on this thing. Engine failure, I'm losing altitude quickly. I'm not going to be able to regain control of the aircraft in time. Switch to the rockets, do some damage to that armoured column before that happens. Okay, right, oh well, never mind. Luckily, I do have another helicopter ready. And we haven't flown the loach yet, so I'm going to take this thing out for a spin. Ah, missile incoming. Dodge. Yeah, I'd forgotten this thing. I had flares. <laughs> I could have used those. Anyway, teammate needs trouble. No, no, he's taking care of him himself. That's fine. That's no problem. Right. I do have one guy sitting in the back of this thing with a surface-to-air missile launcher. So we're going to drop this guy off where it's going to do the most good. Right next to Firebase 3. Which is just one leg away from the enemy main base at Firebase 1. Very shortly afterwards, I'm on the tail of an enemy KA-26, and I've scored some hits, but, well, it's only a 7.62mm minigun, and he does exactly the right thing, and tries to lead me right into the teeth of the anti-aircraft guns at Firebase 3. Firebase 5 has changed hands yet again, although the defences are not occupied, but there's one surviving vehicle from an armoured column that's holding out, although his days are probably numbered. We've got a gunship shooting at him. I'll see if I can damage him with the miniguns, but no, it must be a tank. If it had been an APC, I might have been able to do something to it with the minigun, but it wasn't, and yeah. Okay, well, we've got two gunships shooting this guy up, so I don't really need to worry about him. Hey, you. You on the mountain. Shoot something down, will you? I don't know, you just can't get good help these days. Okay, who's that Cobra shooting at? It's not him. It's the MI-24, all right, and yeah, stole the kill. Ah. <laughs> Got the last hit, that's the one that counts. <laughs> and then do what the loach is best at, and get the hell out of there. They really should do something about that. I mean, I wouldn't mind. I, I would have been happy with an assist on the MI-24, which is what I should have had. That gunship pilot up ahead. He'll have gotten the assist. War Thunder used to be like that. You could do any amount of damage to an enemy aircraft, but if you didn't get the killing blow, you only got credited with an assist. They, that, that's something that probably does need to change in Heliborn. I would have been quite happy with an assist. It's two points for an assist and four points for a kill. And frankly, two points was all I really deserved there. Oh, another player spotted in an MI-8. It's an air assault helicopter. It's a flying bus, basically, but it can carry a lot of weapons and a lot of troops. So he's probably going to be trying to steal one of the landing zones. I think I just saw a guy with a missile launcher on top of that hill. Anyway, I've got this MI-8 to worry about. Yep, he's trying to cap five. Whoa, careful, nearly collided. Need to nail him before he lands and gets his troops away. Come on. Oh, and his friend with the rocket launcher says, nope. <laughs> oh well, I tried. We're going to jump into the Westland Scout again, and this time around, I'm going to see if I can relocate the missile team that I dropped off right at the beginning of the match. Now, it's currently sitting over there in the rough direction of Firebase 12, and there's nothing for them to shoot at over there. There was at the start of the game, but not anymore. Was it Firebase 12 or was it Firebase 10? Oh wait, they're visible on the map. They're on this ridge line just up ahead. So we're going to land. There they are. And we're going to extract those guys and put them down somewhere where they can actually do some good. Taxi for three. Whoa, 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 hold on. Whoa, whoa that was close. Uh, <laughs> all ashore, who's going ashore? Come on, don't have all day. Get in the back. There we go. Right. Where can I drop these guys off that'll actually be of benefit to the team? Firebase 8 occupied by the enemy. Let's see if I can... Shit! Missile incoming! And I don't have flares. Go evasive. Rockets. There goes the missile. Flew by. 
The enemy do have a missile team on top of that hill. Surely they're out of missiles by now. This would actually be a fairly decent spot. Um, if I wasn't getting shot at by air defences. <laughs> okay, maybe that's not such a good idea. Um, ah, crap. It's another MI-24. No, no, don't shoot at me. Rockets, rockets, rockets. Come on, come on. Uh, oh, got him. Yay! <laughs> right, that's quite enough excitement for one day. Um, <laughs> I don't want to push my luck. There's somebody on my tail. No, I can see him on the map. Oh, he's given up. He's not going to pursue me over the firebase. Right. There's another missile team over there. Possibly a mortar team. It's not one of mine. Oh, hang on a second. Another MI-24. And he has just shot down one of my teammates. Alright, let's see if we can get some payback. These are only 7.62mm general purpose machine guns, but they can do damage. And I do definitely have the agility advantage over this guy. As long as I can make sure... Oh wait, he's turning around. Nope, don't like that. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> if he wants to come after me, fine. But he's going to have to fly over a lot of air defences to get the kill on this Jingles. I only had 58 rounds of ammo left for the machine guns anyway, so I was reloading them while going evasive, and the friendly Huey Delta swooped in and swatted the MI-24 out of the sky. Well done. So, where can I put these surface-to-air missile teams where they're going to do some good? Hello? Firebase 8 up ahead. Armoured column moving in to reinforce it. Only one of the anti-aircraft emplacements is occupied, however, so we're going to reinforce Firebase 8 with three surface-to-air missile teams. Just going to put this thing down, and then we can deploy our troops. And this is how it works, by the way. It took me quite a while to figure it out. You can see the troop icon is coloured in. You actually pan the mouse around and you look for locations where you've got a solid troop marker and that indicates a position where you can deploy the troops that you're carrying in the back. So we've got all three teams away and just in the nick of time here comes another combat bus, an MI-8. Oh wait, it looks like he's aiming at me. I don't like that. <laughs> Let's be careful not to crash. There goes one of the stingers. Is he going to get him? No, he's managed to avoid it. And he's been shot down by ground fire. So we managed to get this place reinforced just in the nick of time. How I survive the next minutes, I have absolutely no idea. Just just watch this. So we're looking for something to shoot at. And oh, enemy helicopter, he'll do. So he's not lighting them up with the FN mags. And he does the smart thing and leads us over a fully defended firebase number six. And he's not down yet. There's three of us on him. And he now leads us over another fully defended firebase. And he's still not down yet. I'm determined to do some damage to this guy. And he's fighting back for all he's worth. Start hitting him with the machine guns. And careful not to crash. Come on, pull back on the collective. There we go, we're up. And he's still not been shot down. At this point, I really should have taken the hint and cut my losses. <laughs> but oh no, now there's a missile coming. And I don't Warning. have any flares. And I'm hit. And my hydraulics Warning. have failed. And now my Warning. engine's hit. Engine. So I'm Failure. losing altitude Warning. and I have no engine. hydraulics. Failure. Just about the only thing that is working is my tail rotor. <laughs> and I've only just regained control. That guy has finally crashed. So nobody actually got the kill there. But somehow I'm still... Oh no, there's another missile incoming. Go invasive. Try to score some hits on this guy. Ground fire coming up from two, possibly three separate locations. This guy is now leading us over yet another firebase. We've managed to shoot him down. I didn't get a kill. Let's take out this anti-aircraft pit. Got it. And I... Oh, no, I'm not out of the woods yet. There's another fully defended firebase. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to cut my losses. Fly as low as I dare. And escape hopefully before these guys know they've seen me that ah, but too slow and it seems I'm going to live hooray <laughs> how the hell am I still alive 
I, I don't know. I, I've got nothing. At this point, I think the only thing holding the airframe together is the bullet holes. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, let's get ourselves into another aircraft. We just have to return to base, put this thing down safely, and pick another helicopter. Yeah, don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll edit that part out. Oh, I'm sure nobody noticed. What? Shut up! It wasn't that bad, it could happen to anybody. Uh, anyway, I highly recommend, by the way, a book called Low Level Hell. It's written by a guy called Hugh Mills, who flew this aircraft, the OH-6, more commonly known as the Loach, the Light Observation Helicopter, during the Vietnam War. He was a scout and reconnaissance helicopter pilot flying this thing and he would basically scout and recon NVA and Viet Cong by flying low over the jungle and waiting to see who shot at him. <laughs> Absolute balls of steel. The men that flew these helicopters. Fantastic book and I cannot recommend it enough and whoa I got the kill. Well check me out what a badass. Right. Okay, there's just over two minutes of this match left, and right now we are behind on points, so we're going to have to do something if we're not going to lose. Firebase 8 up ahead. A scout aircraft with a mortar observer, so we're going to go ahead and light these targets up for the gunships. Let's get some rockets away. One light vehicle destroyed. And... Swing it around. I'm down with the minigun now. I'll do what I can, and hopefully those are APCs. So the one vehicle left. Cobra gunship took it out. Okay, it's looking a bit better. We neutralized the defenses. We got a slick coming in. Who is going to occupy that place with ground troops? While he's doing that, I'm going to put this thing down in the paddy field and get another stinger team in position. And I think we may have just evened the scores. Although I can't be sure, it's it's pretty close. You can see the two ticket counters at the top. It seems to be neck and neck. If we can get another kill, that might seal it. Two enemy helos. Okay. Score and hits. And let's go under him. He's not going to be able to turn in time. Oh, crap, I'm hit. Don't die, Jingles. Don't die. It's negligible damage. Yes, we've shot one of them down. It's still far too close to call. He's taking a hit from something. Oh crap, he's going for me. Jingles, don't die, don't die, don't die. Just just stay alive. He'll overshoot. He's an MI-24. He's too heavy to turn quickly. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. I've taken some hydraulics damage, but it's nothing I can't live with. The airframe's at 100%, and there's another MI-8 coming in. I'm scoring a couple of hits. Oh, he shot another one down. Oh crap, missile incoming. Drop flares, evade, evade. I can't afford to die. The team can't afford to lose the points. Scored some hits on the MI8, but if he's going to chase me, he's going to have to go right over this armoured column. And he has been shot down. I got points for the kill assist. And this match is about to end. Have we done enough? I can't see any further enemy healers. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding. <laughs> that was close. And a lot of fun. I got shot down three times, I crashed three times, but I got seven kills. Okay, a couple of those were what you might describe as kill steals, but a kill's a kill. Also a couple of assists, and that earned me 150 experience. Now this isn't like a wargaming title, where there are two different currencies, experience and credits. And you have to unlock the vehicles with experience, and then actually buy them with credits. So, for example, in World of Tanks, you play your Tier 5 tank and you unlock the Tier 6 tank, but you can't afford to buy the Tier 6 tank, so you have to go back and play the Tier 5 tank a bit more. There's none of that in Heliborn. Once you've unlocked an aircraft, it's yours. You don't have to pay for it twice. And just in case you're wondering exactly how far 150 experience will take you in Heliborn, you might actually be quite surprised. 150 is exactly half the price of a 4th generation KA-60 medium utility transport and Air Assault Helicopter Unlock. So two games, and that's a top-tier aircraft unlocked. It won't be fully upgraded, it costs a further 
300 experience for each level of weapon upgrade. But fresh out of the box, it comes with a 12.7mm or 50 cal machine gun, 20 80mm rockets, and an observer for calling in mortar strikes. And can also carry 12 troops. So, yeah, it's entirely playable. So, that's PvP in Halliborn. It is a lot of fun, but I do recommend if you're going to try it, and I do recommend that you try it, that first you try some of the co-op battles, purely and simply so you can get used to how the various different helicopters handle without the added complications of enemy players who already know what they're doing trying to shoot you down. The co-op battles are exactly the same, except there are no enemy helicopters. Well, there are no enemy helicopters yet. The developers are working on putting AI helicopters into co-op battles as well, but there are no enemy player helicopters in co-op battles. So, that's Helliborn. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.